relational algebra what do we mean by relational algebra in dbms and what are the specific operators for carrying out relational queries hello everyone i am sukanya from go edhub technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about relational algebra in dbms relational algebra is a procedure query language used to query the database table and assess the output data in different ways for example here you can see an example of member table here the outer schema of member table is known as relation the date of birth is a set of attribute for the entity member and then the tuple is a complete set of record that is member id name date of birth which is for example 4 mike and his date of birth respectively now there are several type of operations in relational algebra and which are classified into two categories basic and fundamental operation derived operation in basic and fundamental operation we have six type of operation those are select project union set difference cartesian product and rename whereas in derived operation we have natural join left right full auto join intersection and division so firstly selection operator selection is used to select the required tuple rows from a relation or from a table if you understand little bit of sql then you can think it of as where clause which is used for the same purpose so if you have a table customer and you are using the select operator customer city agra from the table customer so where the customer city is agra those entries or those set of tuples will be displayed similarly there is if customer city is delhi then the records of delhi city will be displays the next is projection operator projection in relational algebra is similar to select statement in sql select is used for retrieval of all the records unless and until some records or some specific column mentioned similarly projection is used to project required columns from a relation for example projection operator customer name and customer city from customer so only the name and the city will be displayed from the table name customer next is union operator suppose there are two tuples or two tables you can say r and s and you want to make union union on basis of a condition now what are those condition r and s that means both the tuple must have attribute of same number which mean there has to be three three attributes in tables the attribute number has to be same for union operation to be performed duplicate tuplets are eliminated automatically if any duplicate values are there then they would be eliminated automatically so if both the tables are joined that is customer name union item id on the basis so this is how the join happens according to the customer name and the item id the union has been made with the help of projection operator projection operator we use for the display of it so until now we have discussed about operators and for more operators we will see into the other tutorial that is set difference operator suppose if you want to calculate the difference between two tuples or tables r and s the set intersection operation contains all tuple which are both in r and s it is denoted by intersection symbol so if customer name minus the item name then you will get the difference between both the tuples now cartesian product cartesian product is used to combine each row from one table with each row of the other table it is also known as cross product in general terms it is denoted by x so employee table has smith harry john and their department a c b along with the ids similarly if you want to query uh, check the query of employee cartesian product with department it means table card cartesian join with itself so this is how the result of the cartesian join one row is attached with the other column now rename operation as we all know we can rename a particular table in our sql statements but in relational statement rename operation is used to rename the output of relation it is denoted by row for example we can rename the operator name student relation to student1 rename student1 to student this is the syntax next is natural join natural join between two or more relation will result in the combination of tuples and they have equal values for common attributes so this is how natural join occurs which means all the same attributes will be join outer join 
Outer join operation is an extension of join operation. It is used to deal with the missing information. If we have two tables, employees and workers, and we are doing outer join, then the missing information is excluded and rest of the join is done. Outer join is basically of three types. What are those three types? Left outer join, right outer join, and the full outer join. The left outer join contains set of tuples of all combination in R and S that are equal to with their common attribute name. There is specific symbol for the left outer join and if you want to left outer join the employee and worker tables then this is how the left outer join will be done. Right outer join is having symbol extended in the right side and in right outer join it contains the set of tuples of all combination in R and S that is equal to their common attribute names. In the right outer join tuple in S have no matching values in R and it is denoted by this particular symbol of join and extension. Similarly, the full outer join is if there are no matching of tuples in both R and S and their common attributes, then it is displayed with the help of full outer join. Full outer join is like left or right and except that it contains all rows from both the tables. So this is about join and this is how relational operator works. Thank you. For more queries, we will look into other videos.